Welcome again. Uh, it's Caveman 123, Caveman on eBay. Um, this track is a pretty cool track. It's all the white track. This is a Deegan track. There's a difference in that, and uh, the difference is the biggest difference is the guide pins that have to take and be used. The slots themselves down right through here, they're kind of shaped in a T, an upside down T that actually holds the car on the track, and will take and let you take and just go extremely fast through there without the car leaving the track. Um, anyway, today's track is a, uh, a track that I took and come up with, and uh, I'm just going to call it NASCAR Gone Wild Alaskan Style. Uh, you got Mount McKinley over here. Uh, it does take and come with the lifts that are shown, everything that's on the table except for this here controller, which is a, a used one that I use for demonstrating these tracks and such. The ones that you'll get with the track will be too brand new and never been, you know, touched or out of the plastic. Uh, you get four cars. Of course, they're all brand new with an extra motor for every one of them. A tune-up kit, maybe for a car that you have at the house. And what's interesting is I have also included some extra guide pins that are designed just for a digging track. And uh, there's a bunch of them sitting there. And you've got a four or five sets of the brads. As they wear out, you can get them replaced or replace them on the cars that you already have. And what you'll notice, I had to spread them apart, but there's six extra... Uh, rare earth magnets here that actually will take and help these cars a lot. Um, if you had a car that didn't have any magnets on it at all, a couple of those will make them hold pretty much the same exact way as these cars do, the digging cars. Um, all these cars here are all digging cars as far as the chassis. Um, you can't really take and tell a lot by just glancing at it, but before I finish you'll get a close up and there'll be pictures of course also on eBay. Now, one thing about these kind of tracks, you see all these loops and things like that, and that's great, and it works great, as you'll find out. But some people, at one point in time, they will take and say, you know what, I don't want these loops. I just want to fly down the track. Um, or, you know, Johnny can't take and control it as well, and Dad says, well, I know how to fix that. I'm going to take this loop out, etc. If you remove this here loop, right, this here track will basically connect right into the other track that's on the other side after the loop. If you take and want to drop this here down and run her flat, you've got more than enough straightaways to take and do that. So you remove this hump here and this, this curve up um, on both sides and lay that track down and it'll go flat. You've got some extra straights here that can take away the humps that are out over here as far as that goes. I mean, if you go flying down those humps, yeah, you can make the track car come off, but it's kind of exciting and a little bit of a challenge for the racers uh, when they take and do it this way. But the nice thing is, is even though it looks like it does, and has all these loops and things like that at one point in time if you ever want to just drop it down and change the layout or of course make your own layout this is a lot of track I think there's 37 plus straightaways and and so on and so on that'll all be listed on the ad as far as eBay goes anyway um, that's about it as far as in general and let's see here and every time I go to test a track something a lot of times goes wrong not intentionally but uh, this is I'm just gonna run it around the track a couple times now one thing you'll notice <clears throat> this is is modified okay and connected to the white track this is an actual 130 second power supply you're not gonna have any problems powering these cars it pushes just a little bit over 12 volts and um, you should be able to take and race great um, these are 60 ohm controllers they're not small controllers uh, like some of the 143rd tracks that you'll come across uh, these controllers actually would run 130 second cars no problem whatsoever so they should last you a good while Anyway, um, let's get this started, and um, I'm just going to run the car around, like I say, and I'm not going to take and try to see exactly how fast I can go. I'm just showing you that it's pretty easy to run the track. Um, the car stays in place, and the climb the hills, no problem, except for when you spin out, <clears throat> and that will take and make all the difference in the world. So, anyway, you've got a lap counter here um, that I cannot find in white, but I went ahead and added it anyway. And uh, pretty much that's about it. I'm going to pick up the camera now and take and get a little bit closer to some of the things that are included in the track. If you have any questions, feel free to ask on eBay, and I'll be more than happy to help you out with that. All right, let's see here. Now we got everything moving around. Okay. Now, like I said, you got the four cars, and what you'll notice on these cars, okay, is right here. The guide pin itself is a little bit different. There's a place for a rear one, which you can take and install in there, which will actually take and help it hold the track even more if you like. But if you look real close to see if I can do this. If you look at that guide pin, you'll notice it's kind of got a, a leg to it, like a T. 
and that is designed when it goes into this track all Deegan track will kind of look just like this here and you'll be able to see a little bit of a hole right through there anyway the track itself is a T so when that car goes into the slot when you start it over here on top of a regular track all right this here will let you take and sit the car down and get ready to take and race and then as soon as it hits that groove track it will take and latch onto that track and you'll be able to fly through the corners etc so and that makes it a lot more fun for people because you can take and really push these cars big time um, <clears throat> the extra magnets like I was saying they're, they're separated or they'll definitely they get pretty darn strong and even just moving them kind of close to each other they want to take and bounce around and, and all of a sudden just kind of couple themselves so to lay them out like that was just the best way to take and go about it but these magnets are strong you'll get six of them uh, with the each track that you take in order as far as this set goes and also it comes with a tune-up kit uh, the tune-up kit will take and modify and take and put your next car into play one that you might have at home that needs tires etc uh, the extra motors all these motors they'll fit any of the cars actually these cars and other art and cars included so you shouldn't have any problems with these but if you do you got an extra motor to take and reinstall in there and off you go um, you got some extra straights some extra curves a couple extra guardrails Everything that you see on this track is new. It's not used to include the lifts as far as are the supports that hold the track up. Um, they can be adjusted, and um, but they're set up. If you'll look closely, you'll notice at the very base, I've put a, a piece of small timber there to take and actually allow you to take and be stable on top of carpet. If I just had the very base on there, yeah, you can screw it down to a piece of wood or something like that, and it would hold steady. But if you set that up without mounting it to something, you need something to hold it in place so those will come with it and um, it'll it'll do fine right up on top of the carpet so when you take and go to take and build that arch okay the best way to take and do it is kind of build it but build it on its side and then when you're ready to take and raise it up you got everything on both sides kind of put together you can raise the whole thing up now you can play around if you've got two people to take and give you a hand holding the pieces and stuff like that but uh, in general it's best if you do it that way that's the way I put it together um, it's just a lot of track kind of coupled together if you have help then it's not a problem at all really um, pretty self-explanatory if you look real close there's just some clips that go up under the track and those pipe or the pipe pieces if you want to call it that the lifts in itself will take and just go right into place and hold it steady for you um, the dual The dual loop is very stable by itself. I mean, it moves a little bit when the car goes around it, but there is no supports that's actually required for that. To include the humps that kind of go through there, there's nothing that needs to take and be um, added to the track. It's very sound, very secure after they're snapped back and together as far as the track goes. So again, you shouldn't have any problems with that. If you do, always ask the question. I think I can give you a hand and help you out with anything that I can. I appreciate your time. We'll talk to you next time. Bye now.